will cycle go up and he's going to take off. A lightning road. strike near Trout Canyon has consumed nearly 28,000 acres or 43 square miles of pristine land in the Spring Mountains National Recreation Area. The Carpenter One fire brought more than 2,000 fire suppression specialists to the mountains. You know, we have literally the best of the best fighting this fire and the cooperation, the collaboration of all the agencies involved from the federal government right down to the local uh, Clark County Fire Department, our Red Cross here locally. It's just been amazing and a very resilient community. Much of the fire was attacked from the air as seven helicopters were deployed from above. The Clark County Fire Department provided ground game support, going door to door to protect the homes and cabins in the community. You know, as part of the structure protection, what our job was to do as our crews went up there uh, was to drive through the neighborhoods, identify um, exit points and, and safety zones that were necessary in case the fire came down. Also looking at homes and determine if they were safe, if there, was, there were items outside that could catch fire very easily by embers. We wanted to minimize that, so we moved things back and put them on the porch. I would have to, uh, you know, optimistically thinking, um, really hope that the weather cooperates with our firefighting efforts to speed that up, to minimize our, our, you know, our time where we have people out of their residence. I think that that's a, that's a big priority for, for this IMT team and, and all of us out there is to try to get the residents back in there, make sure it's safe. By day 16, more than 80% of the fire was contained. And after providing identification, ecstatic residents were allowed to go back home. You know, those couple of days when it was really close was, was scary, but we had total confidence in the firefighters and that, I mean, just we're so thankful. I, we could never repay them for saving our homes. 